do that for? In German, man. Always in German. You must instinctively speak German whenever you're surprised. What chance do you think we've got of successfully escaping otherwise, hmm? You should thank me, chump. <laughs> thank you, Forrester. I mean, what is there to look at after three and a half years, hmm? Soon be over. You're escaping tomorrow, aren't you? Shut up! Security, you blithering idiot! Sorry, Forrester. Now I'll long for some black pudding. We'll ever taste any again. You might quite soon. What do you mean, Prof? It's chocks away for you tonight. How do you know? Nobody's supposed to know if I am escaping, and I'm not saying I am. It's obvious. The tension in your body, the excitement in your eyes, the twitch of fear on your lips. It is possible to be too clever, you know, Prof. Good luck, chum. Good luck, Forrester. All 327 of us. Why not? The Germans are getting very short on manpower. Most of their troops are... Yes, thank you, Cosgrove. It is my plan. I never said it won't. No, it's just that I think it might be helpful if I explain some of the thought processes which went into it. It occurred to me how incredibly old and stupid most of the guards are. The new commandant can't be a day under 70. Jerry is incredibly short of manpower. Most of their good bods are busy fighting. I believe that if we can put them under real pressure, they'll collapse. Hello. Super evening. I have no time for small chatter. I must search hut 101. Oh, uh, have a piece of chocolate first. Oh, I dare not. I have my orders if I disobey my... What sort of chocolate? Milk! <laughs> How can everybody escape? I mean, Hopkins can't escape. His legs are smashed to pieces. He'd be a liability and he wouldn't allow that. He's too proud. All right then, everyone except Hopkins. You're a heartless bastard, Forrester. Your point exactly? When the escape's discovered, all hell will break loose. They'll have a roll call to find out who's still here. There'll be 87 German guards and Hopkins dragging himself across the parade ground to line up on his own. We're not playing games here, Cosgrove. This is war. Just a suggestion. Haggis Barrington's really taken Hopkins under his wing. He's like a father to him already. Father and son. So touching, so moving. Is he right? 
If Hopkins said a thing, I guess you'd want to stay too. All right then. I'm not inhuman. Everyone except Hopkins and Barrington. Well, Barrington had been our Easter Hopkins without Stefan Godbody. Explain yourself, Aldi. Well, I guess and Stefan are in love. How dare you! Now, I'm afraid Al is right, Wing Commander Forrester. I knew from the start. One would have to be pretty naive not to. My God! Godborny and Barrington, rear gunners. Now, I prided myself that at least we hadn't come to that. Now, Godborny, I can believe he's a Pole. They're excitable. But Barrington, he's Scottish. Well, we don't want people like that escaping and then undermining morale back home. Thank you for the chocolate. Oh, yeah. have another piece. Uh, no, thank you. It was very nice, but duty called. Ah, oh, <laughs> duty. Nervous twitch. I thought you were giving a warning signal, no? <laughs> and one for his knob. You're going to ask for Dicticus? Nichts. Oh, yeah. Außer. Außer was? Einer der Briten hat was gesagt. Das habe ich nicht verstanden. One for his knob. One for his knob? Was heißt das? One for his knob? Right, now my plan is this. Um, I shall be in charge of the whole operation, incidentally. Surprise, surprise. Yes, well, I do think somebody has to be, and I uh, believe I'm pretty competent in escaping, having escaped 23 times. Well, so what? You're still here. You've been captured 23 times. This is competence. Yes, thank you. We've been through all that, Cosgrove. Well, very well. Does anyone else put themselves forward? Good. Right, now perhaps we can get on with it. Um, I shall be known as Big F, incidentally. Now, I plan no less than five tunnels. Here, 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 and here. They will be called Tom, Dick, Harry, Julian, and Gladys. Julian? After my son. He's 15. He's a fine boy, considering. And, uh, Gladys? Would that by any chance be named after the little lady? It most certainly would not. She isn't little, she isn't a lady, and I'll thank you never to mention her again. Still, it's a nice thought. Perhaps I go through Gladys. <laughs> yes, that's why I call one of the tunnels Gladys. I realise that some of you who aren't quite out of the top drawer enjoy the occasional dirty little snigger. Izzy, how soon can you make me German military or civilian uniforms for 327 prisoners? For you, four months. I'll give you two. Three. I can't do it in less. Done. <coughs> Shorty, can you make up 327 sets of Ford's documents in three months? If I have the helpers and if I have the ink, yes. Anything to get away from these buggers. Right. We go in three months from now, or on the first moonless night following it. There's water around here. Probably an underground spring. Oh, my God. What? Well, we don't want water going into certain underground places of great importance. Sorry, Donaldson, not quite with you. Oh, you mean the tunnels? 
God, no, never thought of that. Shut up about tunnels, Einstein. I know you probably can't understand us, but you know how bad my nerves are. Not one escape now for a month. Not one man in the cooler. Not even a complaint about the soup. That must be very gratifying. Of course it's not gratifying. Do you think I'm stupid? It means you are giving all your energies to something else. What are you planning? Absolutely nothing, Herr Commandant. <laughs> I do not believe you. That is your privilege. Why so gloomy, Einstein? This sandy earth will be the ruin of my asparagus. Casualty of war, old chap. Getting the earth out of the tunnels is the real headache. Well, why don't we use some of the tunnels to store the earth from the other tunnels? Good thinking, Shorty. Well, no tunnel could take more earth than we dug out of it. So we'd end up with five tunnels full of earth and we might as well not have bothered to dig in the first place. Congratulations, Shorty, on fatuousness beyond the call of duty. Yes, as I say, it's good that you're thinking, Shorty, but um, do try to be sensible. Oh! Oh. Care for a piece of chocolate, old man? I can't. The Commandant wants us here, Forrester. Which of you is here, Forrester? I am Wing Commander, Forrester. The Commandant wants to see you. Now! <coughs> Please, tell me what you are planning. Would you really expect me to? If we were planning anything, which we aren't, if you think we are, although we aren't, well, you're just going to have to try and find out, aren't you? How can we? You are cracked, Airman. Your resolution and invention sharpened by desperation. We are a rabble. Leftovers. See, dregs. Well, that's your problem. My men can find out nothing. They are stupid. The good men went to the front to the Panzer Divisions, to Rommel, to the Luftwaffe and the Navy. But you're not stupid. You said so yourself. <laughs> I am old. 48 Stunden Wochenend du Laubs Pass. Ach, heavy. What an ugly language, eh? Well, worse than Welsh. How dare you compare Welsh to German? You really hate them, don't you? I thought you taught German. Well, I didn't know I hated them then. I thought it was the French I hated. Mind you, I don't like them much either. What about the English? Can't stand the bastards. Yeah, right. I like the British. I once took a walking tour of Offa's Dyke. <laughs> Good times in pubs. A pint of Ansel's, please. <laughs> If you make a big escape, we are all for the Ost Front, the Eastern Front or worse. So, please, help us. I'm embarrassed by your defeatism. Me too, but I am weary. I'm sorry. I'd like to help you. Oh, well. Poor old asparagus. Never mind that. The escape committee wishes to interview you. Eight o'clock this evening, pilot officer Price Edgerton. Oh, good. Because I've got something to tell you. Uh, 
I'm sorry to have to question you like this, Price Edgerton. I know your father, and he's a damn good chap. Jesus. Your point, Morris? I just cannot believe the British class system. No, I don't suppose you can, since you've had no experience of class. Oh, yeah, that's right. New Zealand's a complete dump, I forgot. <clears throat> Please tell us, Price Edgerton, why you crawled out from under a hut and practically fell over one of the German ferrets. I know it was stupid of me, but then I'm not very bright. I had an idea, you see. You had an idea. Didn't they teach you at Pudsey Grammar School that sarcasm is one of the lowest forms of wit, Cosgrove? No, them I understand. What's your idea? Well, I knew there was water around, and I thought there might be a well somewhere around. And I found it. The Germans had built a hut on top of it. Brilliant. That's a brilliant idea, Einstein. Well, I think we can all see what he's driving at, can't we? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Be, um, be nice to give him an opportunity to spell it out for himself, though. Well, I thought the earth from the tunnels could go down the well. Precisely. Bang on, Einstein. Knew you had it in you. Your mother was a lovely person. A glass of schnapps? Yeah. Thank you uh, very much indeed. I like you. You may call me Heinrich. Well, thank you again, Heinrich. You may call me Big F. Big F? Yes, Heinrich. You must be digging. Yet there is no earth. Really? Yes. I know you have a plan. Will you tell me what it is? You know I can't. Cheerio. I didn't expect you to tell me. Cheerio. Here comes the difficult bit. I almost feel a fool asking. One can always ask. You are right. My, uh, my request is this. Please, may we come with you? But he was serious. We know we can't stop you going, he said. And the moment you have gone, we're dead men. <laughs> ridiculous. Well, it's not that ridiculous from his point of view. I mean, the bugger's probably right. Yeah, maybe it isn't so ridiculous from our point of view. I, I mean, it'd make things easier. Huh, it would make things easier. What an uplifting philosophy. Look, you wouldn't be so scornful if I was Australian. I'm sorry, Big F, but I think Al is right. Look, you're a clever chap, Prof. Intellectual, academic. Why don't you leave the practicalities to those of us who haven't got their heads in the clouds? There's a good chap. I was actually thinking on practical lines. It would make things easier. There'd be no guards. No searchlights. Nobody to sound the alarm. Ah, but could we trust the buggers? They wouldn't need German uniforms. That's true already. They all have German uniforms already. And documents. They've all got German passports. I'll give the buggers that. But what causes most escapes to fail? Our ignorance of German. Well, they all speak German. Oh. Some good ideas there. For a man with his head in the clout. No, not you too, chap. No, I'm sorry, Big F, but I think this idea, fantastic though it sounds, has logic on its side. Now, we touched on logic at Pudsey Grammar School, and I believe it's logical for the Jerrys in their predicament to accept reality and make this suggestion. I also think it's logical for us to be realists and accept their help. I absolutely refuse. I'm sorry, Big F. It's five to one against. <laughs> you can't have democracy in wartime. Then what the hell are we fighting for? Good God! Oh! What the hell do you think? German man! Once you're the other side of the bar, you won't get a second chance. I'm not going. I'm staying here with Hoffe and Stefan. No, well, as a matter of fact, you're not. Everyone's going now, apparently. Even Scottish homosexuals. Oh, 
Sit down, Big F. Thank you, I prefer to stand. A bit chilly this morning. I thought it was the British who confined themselves to small talk about the weather. I wasn't talking about the weather. Oh. Well, yes. Look, were you serious about coming too? Of course. We have no alternative. You can trust me, incidentally. Well, of course I can trust you. You're a gentleman. Takes one to no one. <laughs> you trust me, but you disapprove of my request. Of course I do. It's ridiculous. It is, isn't it? Splendidly ridiculous. <laughs> the Germans have no sense of the ridiculous. You should beware of racial stereotypes. So, can we come with you? Against my better judgment, yes. Good. We can be ready by Tuesday. Tuesday? The tunnels won't be finished for at least three weeks. So, there are tunnels. Oh, my God. Have I been tricked? <laughs> no. You tell us what we know, there are tunnels. What we don't know is where. And if you wish to hide them, my chocolate mad guards won't find them. But now that we are coming with you, we don't need tunnels. We can walk out of the gate. Walk out of the gate? Walk out of the gate? Men have sweated their guts out. We've dug tunnels. We've, we've made air pumps. We've laid railway tracks. We've built trolleys. It's like the London Underground down there. Men have risked their lives. <laughs> this is a classy operation. And we're not simply going to abandon it and walk out of the gate. Now that is ridiculous. There is a right way and a wrong way of doing things, Commandant Stuberheil. If you were British, you'd realize that. We only needed five tunnels in case Jerry discovered some of them. Well, that's hardly relevant now that they're coming too. So, I'm closing down Tom, Dick and Harry and concentrating on Julian and Gladys, which are further advanced. No chance of discussing it, I suppose. If Hitler's a dictator, Big F, what are you? Oh, thank you. That's just the support I needed. All right. I suggest we close down Tom, Dick and Harry. Sounds like a grand idea to me. All those in favour? O B R G F R I T E R. Julian has broken through.
Julian ist durch. Sie haben gerade Beethovens fünfte Symphonie gehört, unter der Leitung Hermann Lehn. Morgen können Sie bei uns um 19.30 Uhr Wagners Gott Julian ist durch. Wir hoffen, dass Sie auch morgen wieder bei uns sein. We go on the 23rd or the 24th. That's in 16 or 17 days' time. Why the delay already? There'll be no moon then. What was the moon matter? There'll be nobody stopping us. I reckon we should get weaving now. Mm. It's a question of a thing they probably didn't teach you at Pudsey Grammar School, Jump. It's called style. You get engaged on long summer evenings, just as the western sky is flushed with the first tinge of pink. You get divorced on dank, dark, Thursdays, when even the gunmetal sky is weeping. And you escape from prison camps on dark, still, moonless nights. I would have thought there was a practical reason, sir. Yes, we'll trust you to take the poetry out of it. Oh, yes, I'm from dull, unpoetic little New Zealand, aren't I? My God, I'd like to correct some of your cultural misconceptions. I'd just like to see the look on your face when I showed you Dun Eden Public Library. How on earth were you ever made an officer, Morrison? Das war der Wetterbericht. Wir bedanken uns auch heute wieder fürs Einschalten der deutschen Welle. So, clear skies tomorrow night, but uh, cloudy the night after. Looks like the night after is the one. The Deutsch is good. Sie haben die Vorhersage bestens verstanden. Yes, I'm not too bad. I'd prefer to speak English, though, if you don't mind. You are our guests on this operation. Yes, that is fair. In English only, then. To a dark, moonless night. A dark, moonless night. Don't get up. Yeah, you won't. Well, according to the German weather forecast, the night after tomorrow will be better. Yeah. Einstein says exactly the reverse. Tell me, Chubb, which do you trust more, the mighty German war machine or the rather dim third son of an English country gentleman? The rather dim third son. Good man, so do I. We go tomorrow night. 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 Morgen Nacht geht's los. Morgen Nacht geht's los. Geht's los? Well done, Einstein. Well done indeed. My man would never have found it. Yes, well, I don't like to boast, but I think we are pretty nifty when it comes to escaping. So, where will you go, Heinrich? Home? Oh, dear, no. We will be marked men when the empty camp is discovered. Uh, Switzerland, perhaps, Sweden. Lisbon? I might even attempt to get to South America. Would it be sad to leave Germany? Of course I will, Big F. It is my home. Can I have a word, Big F? In private? Oh, very well. Carry on. Pitch black. Perfect night for it. Well, what is it, chump? I still don't trust them. I mean, they're still the enemy, aren't they? What are you suggesting? I think we should make them go first. Make sure they don't leave anybody behind. Oh, well, I didn't fancy telling Heinrich that. He thinks I trust him. He respects me as a gentleman. 
And is your reputation as a gentleman more important than the success of this escape? Oh, no. no, of course not. What a thing to say. Well then, besides... Besides? Besides what? They're our tunnels. It's our escape. We should run the show our way. I think we should make them escape first. All right. Synchronize watches, please. The escape will commence at... 23, 15 hours precisely. And the first to escape will be... All the Germans. Oh! 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 Das heißt, dass du uns nichts trauen. I'm disappointed in you, Big F. It's not a question of trust, Heinrich. Of course we trust you. We have a gentleman's agreement. But this is our show. You begged us, you, our captors, to come along and help you out. Hmm? Look, we'd be failing in our duty. We, 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 it would be unseemly. It would lack the proper style if we didn't humiliate you a little first. Hmm? You must see that. Yes. Yes, I understand. I do the same in your position. Fine. We go first. Kant, Leute. Köpfer hoch. See you on the other side of the wire, Big F. See you on the other side of the wire, Heinrich. I never really feel I know you, Izzy. Of course you don't. I hide behind the racial stereotype. I beg your pardon? A little Jewish tailor who always says already, already. So, who knows the real me? Nobody. So it's easier to get through the war? Gosh. It's a jolly clever weed. Which I thought of becoming a stereotype Englishman, then nobody have known the real me. Right. That's the last of the Germans gone. Last of the crowds have gone through Gladys, Bigger. Please? They're going to help us get out of Germany. I really don't think you should call them crowds, especially behind their backs. Manners are important, as you'd know if you'd oh, been... Oh, as I'd known if I'd gone to public school. By a Big F, there are times I hope I never set eyes on you again. Well, I don't think you will. We're hardly likely to move in the same social circles, are we? Shorty, why don't you go first? Oh, thank you. Uh, Hang on a minute, everybody. Now, what is it now, prof? Another lecture on logic? Einstein had an idea. And I think it's a very interesting one. Oh, tell them, Einstein. Thank you. Well, it's this, really. It's awfully peaceful without the Germans. Why don't we just stay? Einstein, I'm ashamed of you. Your parents would be turning in their graves if they weren't still alive. Well, it, it would be quite pleasant without them here. Quite pleasant? Quite pleasant? One has to make allowances for you. You're not British. But, Prof, I'm surprised at you. You're an intelligent man. How can you take this nonsense seriously? It would have enormous advantages. Such as? None of us would die. Shorty, what do you say? Well, I like the idea of not dying. Well, there'd be no lights out, no stretches in the cooler. It would be an awful shame to miss the asparagus. Asparagus? Asparagus? 
It's lovely hot with melted butter. I prefer it cold, with a good vinaigrette. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Gentlemen, what's happened to the bulldog spirit? What is happening? Where are you? Big F, what is going on? Oh, come on, chaps. It is a prisoner's duty to escape. But there aren't any guards anymore, so we aren't prisoners anymore. Chump, can you help me out? You are appealing to me for help. Oh, please. No sarcasm. Perhaps I'm tired. I just don't seem to have it in me to persuade these fellows anymore. You're young, energetic. The stage is yours. Prove to us that grammar schools can turn out leaders. I'm sorry, Big F. There's a time for ear rolls and maybe this isn't it. So we break out. What happens? Even with the help of all them Jerry's out there, a lot of us will be picked up before we reach the frontier. Shot, maybe. Certainly imprisoned. And those of us who do make it back to Blighty will find their wives in bed with other men. And they'll shoot those men. Right in the guts. End up in Dartmoor. And how many of us will fight again, eh? One? Two? Is it worth it when the Allies are already beginning to win the war without us? I vote we stay. Oh, chump. I am coming back to find out what is going on. The Commandant's leading them back through the tunnels. Chump, get Gladys blocked off. I'm going down, Julian. We must stop. Careful, sir. We don't want to lose you. Risk I have to take, Barton. What are you going to do? Create a roof fall. Well, what else can I do? Well, you be careful, chum. It'd be a bit of a bind if you bought it now. I trusted you. I thought you were an English gentleman. You should beware of racial stereotypes. Schnell, 
zu den Toren. Wir müssen uns anschauen. Come on, you'll never do it. There's three times as many of us. We're crack airmen. You're rebel. Liftovers, the drinks. If a German lorry or the SS turn up now, how will you explain what you're doing outside? Good point. Wenn jetzt einer deutsche LKW oder die SS auftaucht, wie würden Sie erklären, was Sie da draußen machen? Perfekt. In den Mord! Schnell! Die Schweine, da war gar kein LKW. Aber das hätte er dann sein können. Man darf uns nichts sehen. Wir müssen unsere Flucht durchführen. Die haben uns reingelegt. I came back to wish you luck. That's extraordinary generous of you under the circumstances, Heinrich. No. It is realism. Our fortunes are linked to yours. If you are not found out, then nobody will know that we have escaped. If you are found out, then we will become the hunted. Well, I wish you luck too. Thank you. Because if you're caught, then we're for it. We will not be caught. We speak good German, we have correct papers. We can be thousands of miles away on leave in neutral countries. If you are not caught. I also wish you luck, Heinrich, because I like you. Thank you, Big F. I like you, too. Please, call me F. Thank you. I hope we meet again in happier times, F. Yes. Look, if this silly business ever ends, which of course it will, and you happen to find yourself in the vicinity of Weybridge, do look in. Number 33, Bagshot Road. Thank you. I'm going to turn these lights out. They don't look normal. Yes, good, uh, good thinking, chum. Look, I, I, I do mean that. I, I know uh, vague invitations when you don't give a date are often insincere, but it's just that I can't give you a firm date because I don't know when this damn war's going to end. But I do mean it. Not a great man with an oven, but I can turn out an acceptable roast dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Auf Wiedersehen, F. Auf Wiedersehen, Heinrich. You were bang on with that lorry, chump. And that was a very clever remark you made back there at the gate, aren't you? For a New Zealander, you mean? Why the hell did you do that? In German, always in German. Oh, we don't need that now. We're all allies. No, far from it. Supplies will be arriving. There'll be telephone calls, inspections. Everything will have to seem just as it was when Jerry was here. So that means... Precisely. We're going to need bags of Jerry's. Jerry's to run the camp, Jerry's to answer the phone, Jerry's to, to run the cookhouse, Jerry's to accept supplies. Yeah, I'd estimate that we're going to need at least a hundred of us turning into Jerry's overnight. Oh, God in him. Well done, Shorty. You've just volunteered. By tomorrow morning, if a laundry van arrives, delivery van, whatever, Everything must be absolutely normal. The place must be stiff with German guards. May I just say, Big F, since I know you weren't in favour of this particular course of action, how much we admire the wholeheartedness in which you're throwing yourself into this operation. Uh, no, chump, you may not. There isn't time. But thank you. Well, I'm a realist. I face facts. The past is dead and gone. Oh, how true. Now, does anybody have any ideas where we're going to find a hundred Germans? 
First of all, everyone who speaks German. It sounds reasonable. All those I've made German uniforms for already. Good thinking. Ah, but do we know how many of the men who have German uniforms speak German? That's a very good point, Sean. We must find out. How many of you speak German? Good, thank you. Put your hands down. Wie viel von euch sprechen Deutsch? Four. Look, how come 17 of you say you understand German, but then when I ask you how many of you speak German in German, only four of you put your hands up? Come on, chaps. I don't want lies. I don't want wishful thinking. How many of you can really speak German? Four. Yes, I can count. Oh, God. So, if any Germans turn up at the camp tomorrow, they'll find four men in German uniforms who can actually speak German. Perhaps we should find out how many of those who don't have German uniforms speak German. Quiet, boys, please! Quiet! Wie viel von euch sprechen Deutsch? Nein. I can count. Nein. Get in hell. Is he? How quickly can you get me nine German uniforms made? For you? Six days. Two days. Four days. Done. It is possible that some of the German uniforms I made for prisoners who don't speak German already. You might get some of the nine German speakers who don't have German uniforms already. I'll see what I can do. Right. Now I'm going to become the camp commandant. Oh, surprise, surprise. Yes, I'll pretend you didn't say that, chump, to spare you the shame you'll feel when you recall that you did say it. I don't want the job. I don't want to be a German. I'd like your job. My job? You're going to be the unofficial leader of the prisoners. You will be known as Big C. Thank you, Bigger. I'm touched. Well, don't be a chump, chump. You're the obvious man. Well, I get some escape plans drawn up straight away. Escape plan? You didn't need to escape now, you chump. Well, I've got to do something. It's a little question of what we at Putty Grammar School would call style. Yes, well, there's no time for style now. We've got work to do. Do you have a German uniform that fits, Bigger? Good thinking, Prof. No, I don't. I must. How soon can you make me one, is you? <clears throat> for you, 12 o'clock this morning. 6 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Done. Off you go, then. Get away. He's gone already. Yes, I see. Right. Now, we're going to have to teach a lot more men German pretty damn quick. Who should do that, do you think, Shorty? Oh, no. No. <sighs> hey, help. Another casualty of the war. Now, you... Better pull your finger out, young bird. Try this. Now, never in the field of human conflict. Uh, so much been old by so many uh, to show few. Hi, little. Right. Come on here, you nuts. Stop moving. How can I measure you if you move? about your backside. Not happy at all. Hello. It, well, check his papers, find out what he's bringing, hold him up as long as you can, ring me back when he's gone, and pray. What's wrong with my backside? It doesn't fit my trousers. Hi, Littler. Hi, Littler. Was wollen Sie hier? To serve with the earbuds. And what is this? Wir müssen liefern, natürlich. Es tut mir leid, ich bin hier neu. 
Wir sind alle neu. Die Angestellten im Umlauf bringen. Eine neue Idee des Führers. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Can't people be shaped like clones? Hello? I couldn't hold him any longer. I told him we're all new. I told him the Führers had a new idea. Rotation of staff. Yes, I was quite pleased with it. He's gone to the cookhouse. Well... Oh, and he says I'll hit that lot. Does he? I'll sell him my parrot. Big F. Look, he's gone to the cookhouse. No one there speaks German. Is there any time for your perfectionist fiddle faddle? This isn't seven bloody rolls. No. It's just that your flies are undone. <laughs> Hello? Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler. Ich bin der neue Kommandant. Oh, ja. Die Angestellten im Umlauf bringen. Wieder einmal eine gute Idee des Führers. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler. Was haben Sie uns gebracht? Verfolgte alte Kartoffeln für die englischen Schweinehunde. Ah. Aha. Also, in Zukunft möchte ich, dass Sie gute Kartoffeln bringen und eine Auswahl an Wurzelgemüse und Grünzeug. Gute Kartoffeln? Eine Auswahl an Wurzelgemüse? Etwas Grüns? Für die englischen Schweinehunde? Ja, das ist ein Neubefehl des Führers. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler. Äh, no, ja, solange es ein Befehl des Ja, Führers. so ist das. Er will, dass die Gefangenen gut ernährt aussehen, wenn die siegreichen alliierten Truppen eintreffen. Die siegreichen alliierten Truppen? Ach, wussten Sie das nicht? Wir werden den Krieg verlieren. Tut mir leid. Aber Gavenni ist sehr schön. Keiner von hat ein beeindruckendes Schloss. Die Einwohner von Zanetti sind sehr gastfreundlich. Barrington! Barrington! Are you Barrington? Do you not know that I am? Oh, well, see here. Can you not see that I'm here? Everything has to look like a normal German camp. And in a normal German camp, the prisoners say here. So please, just say here. Nothing well here. Thank you. Barton. Here. And fully understanding the necessity for all this palaver, unlike some. Oh, shut up! That's a bit rich. Chap fits in, does what he's told, gets a rocket. Look, we have to do things properly. You have to say, here. Not fully understanding the necessity for all this palaver, unlike some. Supposing everybody said, fully understanding the necessity for all this palaver, unlike some. <laughs> We'd be here all day. The lecture now. I thought things would be fine when the Germans are gone. Seems some chaps are getting decidedly edgy. Shut up! Who says too edgy? You. Probleme? Barrington and Parton stellen sich fair, sir. Aus denen machen wir Deutsche. We still need more Germans. You two will become Germans as from 1200 hours, do you understand? Jawohl, mein nothing Führer! On second thoughts, I'm not sure I want you on my side. You can ignore that order as far as you're concerned, Haggis. Come on, Parton. This is utterly unfair. He refuses to say here and swears. All I do is say fully understanding the necessity. Shut for... up. Ah, I have to inspect your hut. Oh, fair enough. Can I bribe you with a piece of chocolate? Oh, you certainly can't. I don't accept bribes. I have a job to do. Well, the German guards always accepted bribes. I don't care what the German guards did. I don't. Besides, I'm absolutely full. I had a lovely steak for lunch. Steak? We had mince. Minced horse. Actually, I could hardly finish mine. I'd rather gorged myself on caviar. 
Die Quellen des schönen Flüsse Y und Seven liegen nur wenige Kilometer voneinander entfernt auf Plin Limon. Die Nationalhymne von Wales heißt... What's German for land of my father's? Vaterland. I like tits best. Really? My legs and ass, man, Miss Great tits, blue tits, cold tits. What did you say? Sorry, I thought you... Sorry. I think it's rather horrid to talk about women like that, as if they're just bodies and not people. Yeah, I suppose you're right, I'm sorry. Talking about women, Einstein, have you ever, you know, had a girlfriend? No, I haven't. What would I talk to them about? I've never got the hang of all that conversation, lad. Stop idling! Haven't you got work to do? You, come here. Come off it, Barton. Look, when I say come here, I mean it. Oh, don't be so stupid. I don't think you'll be calling me stupid again in a hurry. Message for you. The Commandant can see you straight away. Do you think he was just entering into the spirit of the thing? No. I think he was enjoying his power. Bound to be some, I suppose. You have a complaint, I believe. Yeah. Barton just hit me. You want to watch him, Big F? Uh, thank you. I think I know how to control my men, Big C. But that can't be your complaint, can it? Because you'd asked to see me before he hit you, so unless you're psychic, you could hardly have asked to see me to complain about that. No. It's the grub. You have steaks, caviar. You are prisoners of war. We're all prisoners of war. And don't tell me it's a question of style that you have caviar while we have mints, otherwise I'll say you're yours, Big F. Oh, do. That would be so stylish. No, it's a, it's a question of necessity, uh, chum. I find I can go thus far and no further. There are Jerry's coming into the camp all the time. And I find I've inherited certain black market perks which, which are difficult to turn down without arousing suspicion. I do have to maintain some authenticity. Pity, really, most of the chaps hate caviar. German, German, speak German. Ah, yes. Ah. Well done. Very good jump. Yes. You have to kick me quite so hard. I have to maintain some authenticity. You bastard. Hallo, hier spricht Kommandant Stuberhalle. Hier ist Oberst von Steffenberg, von der SS. Heil Hitler. Uh, Heil Hitler. Ich bin ein Freund Ihres Bruders. Ah, mein Bruder, ja, ja. Wie geht's Ihnen? Wie es einem nur gehen kann, der seit 18 Monaten tot ist. Ach, der Bruder. <lacht> er hat nie von einem anderen Bruder gesprochen. Nein, nein. Wir, 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 wir. wir werden Ihr Lager morgen inspizieren. Ich sage Ihnen noch vorher Bescheid aus Freundschaft zu Ihrem Bruder. SS Inspection tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. Sag mal, spinnst du, du Saukerl? Lass diesen Quatsch! That's better. Herr Hitler? Was? Die SS inspizieren uns morgen. Wir müssen absolut glaubwürdig sein. Oh, sorry, I, I still don't understand much German unless it's spoken very slowly. Dann lass uns hoffen, dass die SS morgen sehr langsam sprechen werden. Herr Hitler. You do not say come in in English. Entschuldigung. 
Yes, yeah, what English will do for now. It'll be quicker. Tell me this. How many of your students could pass as Pucker Jerry's? In proper conversation, maybe seven. Oh, God. A few words about the weather, nice day, blah, 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 plus a few simple commands. Maybe another 12. Yes, unfortunately, we can't guarantee that the SS will stick to a few words about the weather, nice day, blah, 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 can we? Damn. So that's your seven plus our original five. Plus the nine for whom Izzy has got uniforms that actually fit. That makes a total of 21 people, including myself, who can safely be allowed to speak German. Out of a German workforce of 112. Some could be off duty, out the camp. Some can be shift workers and asleep already. Good. Good. Let's say 20 asleep and one day off in seven. Uh, seven into 112 is... 16. 16, thank you, Prof. 16 plus 20 is 36. 36 away from 112. 76. 76, thank you, Prof. 76 minus the 21 who can speak German leaves... For you, 55. 55. 55 supposed Germans who can't speak German. Well, what am I going to do with them? Laryngitis. 55 German soldiers with laryngitis. Highly convincing. Thank you, Ali. Could be German laryngitis. Like German measles. Only attacks Germans? Don't be ridiculous, Izzy. One little question about Ali's idea, of which you were so scornful, Big F. Do you have anything better? Laryngitis it is. Oh, God. Herr Hitler. You are not tidy. You are a dirty shrine. You're so right. My sex life is legendary in parts of Glasgow. Also, you are insolent, also. Wie viele sitzen im Bar? Im Moment, uh, keine. Keine? Wir haben die alle ziemlich unter Kontrolle. Aber diesen wohl nicht. Sie. Marschieren Sie diesen Mann ab in den Bau? Come with me to the cooler, please. Wie heißen Sie? Uh, Corporal Weber, Herr Oberst. Dieser Mann ist unverschämt. Sagen Sie nicht, please. Seien Sie unfreundlich. Come on, move it, you homosexual Scottish bastard! Oh! Oh! What is your name? Pierdol się z kapustą, szwabie. Unfortunately for you, I understand Polish, and I have no intention of humping a cabbage. <coughs> Sie, wie heißen Sie? Er hat ein Kehlkopfentzündung, er hat seine Stimme völlig verloren, aber nicht desto trotz macht er weiter. Sie sind ein guter Mann. Machen Sie so weiter. Marschieren Sie diesen Mann ab in den Bau? Wir haben da einen guten Mann. Ja, ja. Sie, halt! Wie finden Sie die Stimmung unter den Gefangenen? 
Kehlkopfentzündung. Oh je. Eine ganz schöne Epidemie. Fast 200 Fälle, inklusive der Gefangenen. Weitermachen! Sind all Ihre Leute Dummköpfe? Ja. Was? Die besten Männer gehen in die SS. Ja, natürlich. Das ist nicht leicht für Sie. Sie! Wie finden Sie das Lagerleben? Es ist so schön wie die Mündung der Mauwak, der herrliche Landstreifen von Hügeln und Gerwessen, der von Dolgethlai bis an die Kuste nach Bamuthreit. Die Feldküche. Diese Suppe ist für die Gefangenen. Wir bekommen andere Suppe. Selbstverständlich. Kelle. Schnell! So. Holen Sie mir den Koch. Herr Hitler, haben Sie diese Suppe gekocht? Ja, Herr Oberst. Ist die nicht gut? Doch. Die ist sehr gut. Die ist fürchterlich. Das verstehe ich nicht. Sind Sie alle bescheuert? Ich will, dass die Suppe für die Gefangenen ungenießbar ist. Dünn, sauer, schrecklich. Verstanden? Jawohl, Herr Oberst. Ich verstehe. Tag teuer, Stefan. Bądź odważny. Kocham cię. Ah, der dreckige Hund. Wie heißt er? Haggis Barrington. Haggis? Das ist sein Spitzname. Die Gefangenen sind sehr kindlich. Das bezieht sich auf ein ekelhaftes schottisches Gericht, das in einem Schafsmagen serviert wird. Großer Gott. We meet again, Haggis. The pleasure is entirely yours. And what do you think of life in the cooler? It's not too bad. It's a bit like living in Glasgow. Was sagt er? Ach, das ist eine Art Witz. Ein Witz? Aufhören zu machen! von menschlichen Exkrementen. Hier doch wohl nicht. Hier ist eine Schande. Ausgespielt, stimme Halle. Ausgespielt? Seit Ihrer Übernahme des Lagers ist keiner geflüchtet. Ich weiß auch warum. Sie wissen warum? Gibt es hier einen Papagei? Ja! Weil das hier wie in einem verdammten Hotel zugeht. Darum. Ich komme bald wieder. Ohne Ankündigung. Ich will miese Suppe und demoralisierte Männer sehen. Ich will leere Mägen und einen vollen Bau vorfinden. Andernfalls. <lacht> I shall speak to you all in English for the last time. After today, we only speak English to the prisoners. And we give them a miserable time. Miserable. Is that understood? You're enjoying this. Come here. Come here! 
How dare you speak to me like that? You only declared yourself Commandant. We haven't elected you. Elected? Of course you haven't. This isn't democratic now. We're Germans. And it's turning you nasty. And you're bad enough when you're British. Shut up. What do you want? Hmm? Anarchy? Do you want to be found out? What do you imagine the SS would do to prisoners of war masquerading as Jerry's? Huh? You can just stick to teaching German. And incidentally, you can cut out all that Welsh propaganda too. If I hear one more man singing Cardiff, Cardiff, Uber Alice, I'll have your guts for garters, you short-assed Welsh shit. You all asked to stay here. I didn't. Well, now you've made your bed and you can eat sauerkraut on it. You will be nasty at all times. And you will look as if you are enjoying it. Is that understood? I will enjoy it. The master race was a brilliant idea. I only wish we'd thought of it first. Excuse me. This soup really is absolutely disgusting. One week in the cooler. March him away. March him away! Look, I, uh, I have no alternative. I have my orders. Please don't tell your father. Meads? Here. Mika? Here. Morrison? Morrison? See here, please, Morrison. No, this is bloody stupid. We're all on the same side. Do you realise that if the SS rumble what's happening, we'll all be shot? One word is all I ask. No. The SS aren't here now, so it's bloody stupid. You of all people. Oh, yes, a New Zealander leading a rebellion. What a turn up. Two weeks in the cooler. March him away. <coughs> yes, you, uh, you don't have to enjoy quite so much, Barton. No! Leave him alone. Chump, my men have loaded rifles. You wouldn't order them to shoot me. I might have no alternative. They wouldn't. If they realised that you were seriously threatening the stability of the situation, they might have no alternative. My God. Wachen! Legt an! Legt an! Das ist ein Befehl! Sie knapp über den Kopf des Gefangenen. Wir geben ihm erst eine Warnung. Dann wollen wir mal sehen, ob er es kapiert. Feuer frei!
Das ist viel besser. Machen Sie so weiter. Ich komme wieder. Better than the cooler, right? I'll say. Makes you appreciate all this, you know. There's a meeting of the escape committee in half an hour. We'd like to co-opt you onto it. Me? Hey. There are vacancies. Shorty and Big F have left. Resigned? Not exactly. Now, we haven't told them about the meeting. It's a secret. Uh-oh. But why me? We'd value your advice. Well, I've called this meeting because things in this camp are getting absolutely unbearable. And I think there's only one thing for it. What's that? We're going to have to escape. Let me get this right. You're suggesting we escape from our fellow prisoners? That's right. Without telling them. Do you entirely trust them? Do you trust Big F? He's hardly in a position to report us to the SS. But it'd be more fun not telling him. Al is right. My only regret will be we can't stay to see the bastard's face when he finds out we're gone. But aren't we condemning all the guards to a dreadful fate? What'll happen to them when we've escaped already? No, nothing. When they find out we've scarpered and they know that they can't report us to anybody, they'll come too. If they haven't that much sense, they don't deserve to escape. Prof's right, as usual. So, how do we escape? Dig tunnels. But, well, maybe I'm being stupid, but don't we already have tunnels? Yes, but Big F knows where they are. But, well, no. No, go on, Einstein. Well, because you're all clever, I think you think Big F's cleverer than he is. But I don't think any of them would ever be clever enough to think that we'd even think of escaping from our allies. So I think we should save time and use the tunnels we've got. I think Einstein's right. So, do we use all five tunnels? Or the two that are only blocked, or just the one? Well, just the one. It'll be quicker to get ready and easier to guard. All those in agreement? Mm -hmm. Right. First thing tomorrow morning, we unblock Owley. Owley? Yeah, well, I didn't really fancy calling it Julian anymore. And I thought I'd name it after you, cos... Well, I thought you were dead brave the way you stood up to Big F on that roll kill. Anyway, we know how much it would annoy him. Well, I, uh... Well, th th that's really, uh... Oh, hell, I can't have tears in my eyes, I'm a New Zealander! <clears throat> yeah, well... You still got all those civilian uniforms, is it? Sure I got them. So why should I destroy them? So when did Izzy Levison ever destroy good material? So, you tell me. Yeah, right, OK. Thanks. Now, we're going to need somebody to replace Shorty on documents. I'll do it. You? Well, sorry to doubt you, but what qualifications have you got? Well, why do you think I wear glasses? From poring over documents. What were you, a clerk? No. A forger. A forger? But do you think New Zealand's too dull to have criminals? I'm a forger. I forged my way into the Royal Air Force. Well, that's good enough for me. Achtung! Achtung! Schnell! Mach die Türen auf! Schneller, schneller! SS. SS. Wo gehen Sie hin? Blitzinspektion der Hütten. Sie nach Tunnel. Apparently, Mitchell based the design on the seat. Die andere Insel. 
Sebastian. Wenn Sie wollen. He thinks you might be trying to escape. <laughs> Little does he know, eh? Halten Sie sich bereit, nach Berlin zu reisen. Berlin? Der Führer ist deprimiert. Aufgrund der Tatsache, dass seit Ihrer Übernahme kein Fluchtversuch unternommen wurde, würde ich empfehlen, dass Sie mit dem Eisernen Kreuz ausgezeichnet werden. Von ihm. Persönlich. Vielleicht muntert Ihnen das auf. Dabei. Danke schön. Ich bin zutiefst bewegt. Das, das eiserne Kreuz. Tja, ich kann mir nicht vorstellen, dass Sie bei Kriegsanfang daran geglaubt hätten, je das eiserne Kreuz zu bekommen. Das Sie wohl sein. Owley's unblocked. So when do we go? Einstein, any ideas on the weather? It'll be overcast a couple of days yet. We could go tomorrow, then. I agree. If we delay, the war could be over before we escape. So if the war's ending already, why don't we just wait? It was meant to be over before the first Christmas. I won't believe it's over till it's over. No. We've got to escape. Big Ethel hate it. <laughs> Who agrees we go tomorrow? Chump? Do we have anything to say to each other? Well, I, I hope so, Chump. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm rather churned up at the moment. Oh, churned up, Big F, why? Well, it's the big day tomorrow and it puts me in rather an odd position. You mean you know? Well, of course I know. I didn't know you knew. Now, wait a minute, you didn't know I knew what? About my trip to Berlin. Berlin? Whatever for? To see the Führer. He's giving me the Iron Cross. The Iron Cr Why? Because nobody has escaped from this camp since I came here. <laughs> you find it funny? Well, I mean, it's a bit ironical. Ironical? Well, a British officer receiving Germany's top military medal, Big F. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I can see that it's ironical. I'm just, just surprised that you care. Big C, that's all. I didn't tell him what's really ironical is that just as he's getting the Iron Cross because nobody's escaped from his camp, we'll all be escaping from his camp. Achtung! Präsentiert das Gewehr! Augen links! Dankeschön, Smithers. Heil Hitler! Das Gewehr ab! What are you doing with him? You've heard of carrier pigeons. Carrier parrots are one better. He's a carrier parrot. Well, where's his message? In his head. That's why they're one better. Who's a pretty allied Polly then? I'm not escaping from Stalaglot. Help! Help! I've a way with birds. You're a marvel. But what happens if he flies to the Germans? Oh, he won't. Have faith. Alles ruhig. Alles ruhig. What's German for cocoa? Cocoa? Howley, 
Up on your namesake. Right. <gasps> oh, help. Sorry. gesagt hatte, dass mir das jemals so bewirrt, hätte ich das nie geglaubt. So! Aus ihrem Lager ist keiner geflüchtet. Keiner. Gut gemacht. Das haben Sie verdient. Dankeschön, mein Führer. Sie sind ein guter Mann. Rommel auch. Göring. Möglicherweise Himmel ebenso. Der Rest ist nicht zu gebrauchen. Ich habe absoluten Nulpen im Stich gelassen. Das, das tut mir leid. Nein. Die Welt zu beherrschen ist nicht alles. Ich habe mal als Maler angefangen. Mag sein, dass ich wieder zum Maler werde. Diesmal stelle ich weniger Anforderungen. Ich habe es satt mit Ambitionen. Keine große Kunst. Zwei Leute und ein Lieferwagen. Ich habe einige Farbtöne entworfen. Wollen Sie sich die mal angucken? Herrlich gerne, mein Führer. process of escaping from this camp. Good Lord! <laughs> Congratulations! Except, well, I, I could have saved you the trouble. I'm about to capture it. Oh, don't worry. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. It's been fun. Well done. This may sound a silly question, 
But did a parrot tell you to come here? Good lord! A parrot did arrive in our midst! Hurrah! Oh, well, no. No, not terribly hurrah, actually. There wasn't any message. All it said was... Heil Hitler! Oh, no. I'm afraid we strangled it. Oh, you didn't. War teaches you to hate. Oh, is this man English too? No, I'm a New Zealander. Ah, bad luck. Oh, no, not you as well. Right, man, we're going in. Driver, advance. Attack! Avocado dumpst. Warme Pfirsich. Mm. Goldene Apricot. Sehr beeindruckend, mein Führer. Buttermilk. El Paprika. Herbstbecher. Eine reichhaltige und beeindruckende Auswahl, mein Führer. Mein Gott! Ich bin Smaschlersummelter. Eva, ich muss mehr massiert werden. Gehen Sie! Sie langweilen mich! Dolphy, Dolphy! Don't shoot! Hands up! Resistance is useless! We have you surrounded! Don't shoot! There aren't any Germans in the camp at all! No Germans! Pull the other one! Forward, driver! Don't shoot! I'm well! <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers! Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? My beast, Mary Ann, we did land, land of hope, hope and glory! Good Lord! Hold your fire, man! It's incredible! So where are the Germans? It's a long story. Mein Herr, einen Pfennig bitte für eine Tasse Armsoup. Heinrich? F. What brings you to Berlin? Your love. I'm not sure I remember how to. Hitler has given me the Iron Cross because nobody's escaped from the camp. <laughs> you make me laugh. My chest hurts. <laughs> what, what's happened to you? I thought you were going to escape easily. A stupid accident. I had all my papers stolen. I couldn't go to the authorities. A commandant who had escaped from his own camp. I have lived with the rats. I have breakfasted in sewers. You ruined my war. Sorry. If it's any consolation, I feel as if I haven't had a good war either. How's my parrot? Oh, thriving. He's had a good war. I'd like to see him again. Tell me, how, how have you survived? By being terrified of dying. I'm so sorry. You're a good man. No, please, don't. Terrible things happen to good men. You've become a cynic. Are you surprised? Look, how would you like my Iron Cross? What's it worth? The honor. No, thank you. Well, I'd, um, I'd better go. I've got your camp to run. 
The irony is, I run a harsher regime than you ever did. Goodbye, honey. Goodbye, F. F. I will. Will what? If I'm ever in the vicinity of Weybridge. Chaps, is this man British too? No, he's the German commandant. Chump? <laughs> Chump? Chump? Einstein? Prof? Shorty? Is he? Holy? Speak up for a chap. You can see he's German. He's got the Iron Cross. <laughs> no, no, Chaps! Play fair! Come clean! This... This just isn't cricket! Einstein! You're a price editor! Think of your father! My father's a cruel sod. Good effort. But rather overdone. I'm always cautious about racial stereotypes. I've never liked him. Nothing personal, but there won't be much room for people like him in the new classless post-war Britain. <laughs> Look, shorty, my old Welsh friend. Hmm? Owly, my old Kiwi mucker. Eh? Uh, Izzy, Izzy, I can help you. I know a committee member of the Finchley Golf Club. Uh, chaps? Chaps! There's one foolproof way to find out. Never thefts. Look, look, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. Oh. <laughs> 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 